It has probably been one of the most unexpected transfers of the summer so far. The rather unknown Brazilian wonder kid Gabriel Martinelli has made a massive European move to North London. Arsenal have picked up the exciting South American prospect last week on a five-year deal and has become a gunner for a cheap £6 million. Considering he isn't in FIFA 19 and will most likely be added into FIFA 20 at the start, and also you guys have been requesting this one, we're putting him in FIFA 19 career mode with Arsenal for yet another one of these Wonder Kid growth tests. And as you can see here, we've put him into FIFA to see how he'll grow, perform and develop under Unai Emre and also see how many seasons it will take for him to become a regular first team starter for Arsenal. We've created him here. He has arrived in FIFA in all his glory. Martinelli, the Brazilian, he is an attacking kind of player. Considering we've created him, we can only make him a midfielder, a right midfielder, left midfielder. According to TransferMarket.com, he can play left midfielder, right midfielder, winger, a centre forward even, but we can only give him one position in the FIFA player creator. We've gone for a right midfielder. I'm not sure what number he'll get at Arsenal yet, but I've seen him in a training photo with the number 96. It's probably not going to be his number, but we've given him the number 96 anyway. I've no idea what number he was at his former club, Ituano FC in Brazil. He's a right-footed player, and this time we've gotten his birthday spot on. It's exactly correct, 2001, June 18. So that does make him 18 years of of age right now. He's going to be 17 in the first season with Arsenal. Now he's 18 in real life. He's going to be 17 in this career mode. Of course, coming from Ituano FC in the Brazilian League, it is yet another Brazilian wonder kid who's made a big European move this summer. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure to smack the like button if you're excited to see Gabriel Martinelli play for the Gunners this season. Subscribe down below for some more FIFA 19 career mode content on the channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss when a new video goes live. Live. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Comment down below what other youth wonder kid that isn't in FIFA 19 that could possibly be added into FIFA 20 should we do a career mode growth test on. As we move on to his height, he's 5 foot 11, quite tall for an 18 year old. Not there yet at a 6 foot. He is just under at 5 11. I couldn't find his weight, so we've gone with 138 pounds. He's uh, an average body type there, and we you can see a nice little close up of his face there. We've tried to recreate him as perfectly as as we can. Not as crazy as Javi Simmons. I mean, he doesn't have an afro. He's got a bit of a more normal hairstyle, but there he is, Martinelli in all his glory. We've gone with a little pair of Adidas boots, considering he does wear Adidas in real life, and also Arsenal have gone for the new Adidas sponsor. In order to commemorate that, we've given him a pair of fresh Adidas boots. But we're going to move on to his stats. We're going to move into career mode. We're going to deep dive into his guesstimated stats that I have put in place for Gabriel Martinelli. We're going to take a look at them in the career mode squad hub and see his in-game attributes. So here he is in all his glory, the Brazilian. Of course, just ignore that the right, he can only play right midfielder. He can also play on the left. He can also play in the middle at a center forward. So just keep that in mind throughout the video. And at the start of the season, he is going to be 17 until he turns 18. He is 68 overall, which is quite decent. A nice little starting point for the Brazilian. And the reason why we've changed him to a right mid is that we've had so many left wingers, left midfielders in this career mode growth test so we might as well change it up he can play there and of course he has the potential to be special which is what you want to see on the young Brazilian hopefully that can translate into growth and development across the seasons standing at a 68 overall a silver card pretty much if he was in ultimate team gifted with that four star skill moves very very nice to see three star weak foot as well medium medium work rate and we're going to take a look at his stats in depth as you can see here the physical 76 acceleration he's got some decent agility balance and jump there, 74 sprint speed, 65 stamina, which of course, you know, with these young wonder kids, they're not going to have the best stamina in the game. He's only got 52 strength as well. That could look to be improved as we've got reactions and attack positioning, which I'm keen to see go up throughout the years as well. 55 vision, which is all right. We move on to his technicals, which are pretty all rounded as well. 71 ball control, 62 crossing, 67 curves, 72 dribbling. We've got some light green stats here with shot power and finishing as well. Obviously, as an attacking player, will be very, very important in the final third. Only 55 penalties though. We've got 65 long passing in there as well. So Martinelli looking very, very promising there. His stats are decent to start off with in season number one. Four star skill moves as well is very, very tasty. Will he get game time? I do not know yet. He's worth 2 million pounds. He's still a prospect in this side. So I don't think he'll get too much game time under Unai Emre in season number one. That doesn't mean he won't get some decent development and growth through his stats throughout the season. If he grinds throughout
workout training. But let's see how season number one goes down for the Brazilian Martinelli. And we've also got him on a few training drills here. We're not going to do them every week. Obviously, we're simulating through the seasons, but we'll do them here and there just to see how he goes through training. That's his first one in his career under Arsenal. A few decent results in there, but we're not going to be doing these every single week. Those will just be an added bonus to his already, to his initial growth and development throughout the season. And our boy Gabriel here, Martinelli, has had some exponential growth in season number one. Still has potential to be special, but he's got a plus eight already, gone from 68 to a 76 in overall. Very happy at the club. He's in good form, which is a very good sign to see. We're going to move on to his stats. He didn't get too much game time, but it's more than I expected, to be fair. 12 appearances, two goals and one assist to show for it. So that's very decent for the Brazilian, now 18 years of age. And he got goals in both the Premier League and the Carabao Cup. With a plus eight overall, the stats are looking a bit like this now. With his physicals, pretty much everything going up besides jumping and composure in the mentals. But a lot of nice light green stats there as we move on to the technicals. And this is the area which always goes so, so quickly for these new Wonder Kids. We've already got some good dark greens here with some 84 dribbling, 86 finishing. Beautiful stuff there with a plus 14, a plus 12, and a plus 13 already. We've got him on a bit of training, but I've probably only trained him about four or five times. So it's good to see he's growing organically as we move on to his valuation. A plus 675% increase from the start of the season here. 15.5 million pounds he's worth now. And it's a rapid start here from Martinelli. And in all that, he came second in the Premier League only by two points in his first ever season. So... Let's see where season two takes our Brazilian wonder kid. So we're two seasons in with Gabriel Martinelli and it's looking like we've gotten some decent growth here. He's now cracked the 80s. He's at an 82 overall with a plus six boost to his overall from last season. Two less overall growth than he did last season, but still it is growth nonetheless as he still has potential to be special. He is content at the club and his form is okay. So I don't know what has changed from this season to last season, but something might have changed. He might be missing his home nation a bit, but the game time has gone up for the right midfielder the 19 year old now has played 31 games in season two scored six and assisted two goals his performances this season have definitely improved now let's go and take a look at his stats throughout the season let's see how they grow his sprint speed now at an 81 a plus three there so pretty much the same stats going up in that department only his reactions and aggression going up in the mental but it's technical yet again two seasons in a row every single technical stat has gone up this time. The big ones are plus 11 to short passing and plus 11 to crossing, which is very important for a right midfielder. So it's good to see the right technical stats are going up as we go along. We're gonna get into his financials. He's now worth 42 million pounds, a plus 170% upon last season, which is good to see. We've now signed him up on a 78K wage. So let's see how that affects him for season three. However, Arsenal did slip down from second position to fourth, still qualifying for the Champions League in their favorite position to finish in and in typical Arsenal fashion they got knocked out by Bayern Munich this time not in the round of 16 in the quarterfinals 5-2 on aggregate so that is how Arsenal are lining up two seasons in with Martinelli let's see how season number three pans out for the Gunners so it's one less growth than last season for Martinelli a plus four this time instead of a plus five still at an 86 so decent growth there he's now hit the mid 80s he's on his way to 90 will he hit it next season we have to find out but he still has potential to be special unfortunately he's on happy at the club I don't know why it might be the lack of game time only 17 games in comparison to last season four goals and two assists to show for it but the Brazilian's still getting a decent amount of game time here 20 years of age now and we're gonna see how his stats have developed over the course of the season now with dark greens in acceleration and sprint speed now to 75 stamina which is very decent agility and balance also in the light greens which is good to see now we're gonna move on to his technicals where we have his first 99 stat and it's going to be 99 finishing and 99 long passing and also 99 dribbling. So three 99s in one season. Absolutely insane for Martinelli. 90 ball control, 91 crossing, 92 short passing and 83 shot power. A lot of dark greens in those technicals, which is what you want to see from the young Brazilian wonder kid. As we're going to move on into his financial now, plus 78% on top of his valuation from last season. He's now valued at 75 million. We'll see how long it takes him to crack that 100 million and to crack the 90s, maybe in season four but still a very solid still a very consistent season from the Brazilian as our boy Gabriel nearly became a Premier League champion only losing out by one point to Manchester United unfortunate stuff for him as well as in the FA Cup he nearly became an FA Cup champion as well losing 2-1 to Chelsea so he nearly bagged himself two trophies this season but lost at the final hurdle in both
both of them. And they made it to the quarterfinals again in the Champions League, this time losing to Inter Milan 4-3 on aggregate. All right, so hopefully all this growth and development can turn into trophies and success here at Arsenal for Martinelli. Let's see what season number four has in store for the young Brazilian. So it took four seasons, it took four years, and a plus four growth in this season. He has now hit the 90 overall. Big boy Gabriel, now 21 years of age, is one of the world's best already. And this time he's in good form. He is happy at the club, finally at the Gunners. It's good to see the Brazilian getting on with his teammates as he is one of the most highest rated players here at the Gunners in North London. We're going to take a look at his stats this season and they've been probably the best performance wise throughout this whole thing. Now, obviously at a 90, you'd expect him. He set the bar pretty high right now. He's sitting at 51 appearances this season, 15 goals and two assists. So I believe that's the first time he's hit double figures in goals, which is a nice little achievement for the 21 year old. 10 in the Premier League, three in the Champions League. We're going to take a look to see how his attributes have grown. Wow, a plus 12 to stamina. Keep in mind, we have not trained him since season number one. So these past three seasons have all been organic growth. A plus 12 to stamina is absolutely out of this world. Plus six to acceleration now at a dark green. Sprint speed at an 89. Whoa, oh my God. Look at those 99 stats in there as well. 99 dribbling. Got 99 crossing now. 97 ball control. Oh, I cannot wait to use Martinelli here. He looks like an absolute delight in game. We're going to move on. And yes, I predicted it. He's hit the 100 million mark in valuation. A plus 39% upon last season. We're going to sign him up on a brand new contract. Now, 240 k a week that is more like it for our 90 rated star at the moment he is coming into fruition here entering his 20s entering the 90s it is good to see our boy doing well however arsenal have not benefited from it finishing in fifth position qualifying for the europa league for season five as you can see everton taking out the title in the premier league as well as man united liverpool and spurs our crosstown rivals finishing in fourth and it's another early champions league exit for martinelli and the gunners losing 3-2 to juventus on aggregate now i'd say that's a pretty successful season for the Brazilian. Not Unai Emre though. The team really need to get their act together in season five if they want to win any silverware this season. So let's move on to season five and see what Gabriel can achieve here at Arsenal. So it was so close but so far to Premier League glory for Martinelli and the lads two points away from title winners Liverpool. Unfortunately for Martinelli he will get a chance at lifting the Premier League trophy which is unfortunate but it's yet another strong consistent top four finish. This isn't looking too good. It was another early exit in a cup competition, this time in the FA Cup around 5 to Chelsea 1-0. However, not a hope is lost yet as Martinelli has picked up the Carabao Cup winning a five-goal thriller at Wembley to North London rival Spurs 3-2. Absolutely insane stuff. He gets his first taste of English silverware, a domestic cup competition for him. He wasn't too successful in the other competitions, but at least it's some kind of silverware for him to enjoy. And we're going to be treated to a European final in Season 5. It's not the Champions League title, but it's something. The Europa League final up against Fiorentina, which we are going to go ahead and play and hopefully get some European glory for the right midfielder. Now, has Arsenal six success led to Martinelli's success in terms of growth, development, and performance. We're going to take a look, and it looks like Martinelli is joined best player at the club, along with Varane, Umtiti, and Donnarumma. With that 92 overall, he grew plus two this season to his overall, making him now 92, one of the world's best. And he's in excellent form here at Arsenal. He's very happy at the club, which is good to see. He's match fit for the final, and I'm sure we're going to have so much fun using him there. As you can see, his performance this season, 62 appearances, 35 goals and 9 assists. That's Messi, Ronaldo type numbers from the young Brazilian. Still only 21. His birthday is next month after the Europa League final. So technically at the end of the season, he should be 22. But it's not his birthday yet. So he's going to be a 21-year-old playing the Europa League final. A 7.3 match average rating for him. As you can see there, obviously with the plus two growth. But he's got 93 stamina now, which is what you want to see in a career mode wonder kid. Especially a winger as they have to run up and down the pitch. 98 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. I can not wait to use this guy in game here. He hasn't gone up much in the technicals, but there wasn't much to improve on, as most of them are already 99. 99 ball control, 99 short pass, 99 dribbling, 90, uh, not too many 99s to even comprehend here for Martinelli. 92 overall. Cannot wait to try him out in game. As you can see there, he's gone up a plus 19% on his valuation from last season. 124.5 million he's worth now. So five seasons in, Gabriel has proved
proved why he can be one of the world's best here at Arsenal and for Brazil in the long term. Really having no issues switching from the Brazilian league to the Premier League, dealing with the switch quite well, which is impressive from the youngster. That is a side going into the Europa League final. Obviously, we've signed a few little other players to help Martinelli in his quest towards some glory here at Arsenal. He's going to start on the right-hand side alongside Lamar and Cutrone up top. Let's get into the Europa League final. So this is future me here. I decided to simulate one more season after season five into season number six just to see if uh, Martinelli could crack that 95. And I know a lot of you guys might have been curious as well to see what he would be like next season as well. And it looks like he's just continued on his success from last season. Yet another plus two. He's one of the world's best. He's excellent form. He's very happy at the club. But this time, just less performance output, less attacking output. His stats have still gone up this season, which is good to see. He's improving. And this is pretty much him in Super Saiyan final form at age 23, now worth nearly 150 million pounds. So yeah, that's just a quick overview of season six, just to see how he'd do at 23. And he's managed to get to that 94 overall. All right, here we are. The big occasion has arrived. We're here, ready for the final, ready to use Martinelli in his full form. Let's go lift up that trophy. We should have made him captain, but uh, we'll see at the end. We'll see. Mistakes were made, but we're going to kick this off here with Cutrone. I am so keen to use him. We're going to pass to him straight away and get this show on the road. Here he is, the man of the moment. What can he conjure up down this right-hand side? That's a terrible start. <laughs> All right, here he is, the man of the moment. We all know how good he is. We all know how good he's been this season. What can he conjure up here in the first half? Bellerin is giving it off to Paqueta. It's going to return back to Martinelli. He's going to flick it up, maybe. He's going to do it with his 99 crossing. He'll find Paqueta. It just goes wide. Early signs here from the Brazilians. Paqueta will find Martinelli. Can he get a little assist going here for Patrick Cutrone? And it's simple as that. Martinelli with the over-the-top through ball. And it was that man, the Italian, to convert for us against Italian opposition. 1-0, 15 minutes in. We've started off this European final the best way possible. As you can see there, beautiful hold up play. A beautiful ball over the top. And it was a volley into the bottom left-hand corner. That'll do it for us. Scoop from Martinelli, who cross it in with his 99 crossing, and it's as simple as that, as simple as ABC, when you got a 99 crossing Martinelli on your side, two assists for the number 96, it just gets better and better in this Europa League final, the simple flick up, the simple cross, and it's that man Cutrone in the right spot at the right time to get us the two goal lead, come on, what can he do on this right hand side, let's get a little screw run going maybe, I don't know, I'm feeling... Like he can show off a bit of his flair down here. What can we do? Can we do an El Tornado? No, we can't. Martinelli. I want to try to get a goal with him, the number 96. I want to try to get a goal with him. See what we can pull off here. I'm going to give it off to Lucas Paqueta. Can we get the... Oh, that's terrible. All right, it's going to be half time. It's two assists for him so far. Let's see what we can do in the second 45 and see if we can even get him a few goals. Here we go. Nice little counter here. Fiorentina, they've committed a few men forward here. Can he get his third assist? It's an open goal for Paqueta. He's got a few defenders to his right. It's going to be Lafont and it's going to be Cutrone to, trap, to tap it in. It's a hat trick for Cutrone and it's another big goal contribution from Martinelli. 3-0 already, 30 minutes to go. We are walking all over Fiorentina at the moment, and it's showing. Oh no, Fiorentina, they're trying to half the deficit. And it's Diogo Dalot of all people to get one back for them. Laviola get their goal, and they make it 3-1. All right, Fiorentina, they're on a bit of a comeback here. Totino gets their second. We've slackened off a bit here, and we've allowed Fiorentina to come back into the game. There's only one man that can finish the job off now, and that is this man. Come on, let's go on a little kickoff skill run. Come on, can Paqueta find him again? He will. Martinelli's with the afterburners on. He's going to cut inside. Fuck Joel Matip. And that's full time. Martinelli can't get that goal in the Champions League final, but he got his two assists, which were crucial in the first half. In order for us to take the lead, that is going to be the European final. He finally gets his hands on some European silverware, and he will get a taste of European glory. That has been the FIFA 19 career mode growth test with the new Arsenal Brazilian wonder kid, Gabriel Martinelli. I hope you did enjoy five seasons in. 
becoming a world-class player here at Arsenal. Trophies to his name, goals, assists, all the good stuff. And I have no idea why Mustafi will be lifting up the trophy. But that is what will happen. Unfortunately, Martinelli won't be lifting it up. But that has been the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure to slap a like on it. Comment down below on what player I should do a growth test on next. Subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want some more FIFA 19 career mode content. It is so weird seeing Mustafi lift up the Europa League. Follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. Show your support on the channel, guys. I have been BTHD. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the very next video.